Welcome to Understanding Infertility. My name is Dr. Bayomi Ajayi and today we're going to be discussing something very interesting, male infertility. How can we treat when the sperm parameters are not at par? We can look at this from three different views, drugs, surgery and assisted conception. For the drugs, well, unfortunately, as of now, there's still no spam boosters. So when the spam count is really low, then drugs, as of now, cannot really help. When the spam count is low or not there at all, the only thing that is proven to give remedy is assisted conception. And you know, the first assisted conception was what we call IVF, and that's why up to now we still call everything IVF on our assisted conception. But we know that there are so many spin offs of IVF, and one of them for male infertility is what we call ICSI, or intracytoplasmic sperm injection. What this simply means is that we just take one sperm and we inject it into one egg. This is, of course, done under very high magnification and requires a lot of skills from the people who are doing it, the embryologists. So this is where actually the uh, rubber meets the road, where you need the skill of the clinic to be able to do this. From 2000, 2004, other things like IMSI, which is an advancement on ICSI, have also been introduced. What this also means is that in ICSI, what we do, you know, I told you we magnify the spam, to times 200 or times 400, but in IMSI, we actually magnify to about times 7,000. So we are able to see all the various parts of the sperm. And what one frightening thing that we saw was that a lot of the sperm had holes in their heads, which are not normal sperm, which we should not use for fertilization. And that was why when we were started with ICSI, we were beginning to fertilize a lot of eggs, but we were also having a lot of miscarriages because we were just simply using sperm that normally we not fertilize to fertilize the eggs. But with IMSI, we are able to pick and choose the ones that are normal and the ones that are not normal. Sometimes there are some things that you can do to prevent having low sperm count. If you have not already had it, there are some things that you can do to prevent it or to preserve your fertility as a man. But what we say most of the time is that diet, you eat healthily, make sure that you maintain a normal BMI or body mass index. Not to talk of hard drugs, excessive alcohol also depresses sperm count. Caffeine should be limited to not more than two cups per day. Anabolic steroids, that is the drugs that people use when they want to develop cis-pack, definitely destroys the, the, the warehouse of the, the factory for producing cement. One other thing that people ask all the time is about this underwear, the, the controversy between boxers and pants. Yeah, boxers are better, no doubt, but does not mean that because you're wearing boxers you can't have male fertility. Factor. Like I said, the only thing is that you must do tests to find out what, whether there's an issue or not. I, I think that's what we're going to, where we're going to round up today. We'll see you next time. Remember, together we can conquer infertility. My name is still Dr. Abayo Miyajai. Catch you.